What's up people, this is Fluffy Bunny, people of Android, and today I have a tutorial for you guys. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would have known that I was making this tutorial. So what the tutorial is, basically if you have KitKat, you know that you have the feature to have uh, emojis on your keyboard, so I'll show you guys right here. This is a Google keyboard, and if you have KitKat, you have built-in emojis onto the keyboard. Just go over here and you have emojis. But a lot of you don't like uh, the Google emojis. They're flat, they don't show the experience expression as much times they're even different all you need is root and 4.4 or above so I'm not sure if other versions work um, I know 4.4 works so here are the emojis uh, when I go to the same keyboard to the emojis you see that these are the iOS emojis all of them um, they're really high quality emojis so I can just uh, click them and they'll come up as iOS you see them as iOS when you go on Instagram when you get a text using emojis you see them like that throughout the whole software the whole uh, system you'll see it like that so uh, real quick before we get started on this video I did try to find a tutorial on this on YouTube I couldn't find one I did find one on a forum but it was really complicated you did have to go through uh, some uh, program on the computer and coding and all that stuff it was confusing you couldn't do it through your phone and I'm pretty sure this is the first video out there to show you how th this is done. And for that, make sure you drop a like down below and let's get right into it. So you need one app, it's called ES File Explorer. And I'll have a link down below for that app and for the file that you need to download for this to work. You're gonna have to download a font. So once you download that font, you're gonna wanna go into uh, ES File Explorer. Now you do need root. Once you do have root, make sure to give uh, root permission to this app so you can go through the system files and all that. So now you wanna go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the file I just put down there. So the file is gonna be called Noto color emoji.ttf now before you even do anything you want to go all the way back so you want to go to device make sure to click over here to device you want to go to system you want to go down to fonts which is right here and then you want to find this file right here noto color emoji.ttf and you're gonna have the same one because we're gonna replace it now just in case anything does happen because uh, if it doesn't work or anything you want to copy it and paste it somewhere safe so just in case anything happens you can go back and paste this one and then everything will go back to normal so now let's go back to the downloads folder so now go back to the file that you just downloaded and you want to click and hold copy the file once you copy the file you want to go back to the same file we were in right now go to uh, device and then you want to go to system and then fonts and then from here you just want to paste it so you click paste and then just click overwrite right here so once you overwrite it um, it's gonna replace the old one with uh, this one so now you have to do something which is really important in order for this to work if you notice right here all these files say RWRR so if you paste this file right here it might say RWRW which is not correct what you want to do is hold down on this you want to go to more and then you want to go to properties once you're here you want to go to the permissions section right here you want to click change and just make it how this is right here check the owner group and other on read and then on write. just click the owner that's all you need it might look a little different don't worry about that just make it look like this click OK and then cancel and you should be done so once you do have that you want to reboot your device and go to your emoji section and you should be able to see this right here so once you go to your emojis if it looks blank and nothing is over here then you probably didn't do the permission section right if it doesn't work for you at all just paste the file that you made a safe copy of and just put it back in there and it should be back to normal yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys do enjoy this video please make sure you drop a like down below it really does help me out provide you with more videos tutorials giveaways and reviews so if you got an android make sure to subscribe to this channel and like always android for life peace <laughs> I can do this all day, I can do this all night